How's it going everybody? How's it going developers? Hope everybody is doing awesome. I'm doing great and I'm here for another tutorial. Another Alexa tutorial. Before we worked up with the project uh, with Alexa and the project was called the color picker. You know, you tell Alexa my color is the following and then Alexa simply responds this is your color. So you can ask Alexa what is my favorite color and Alexa will tell you what is your favorite color. Today we're not- Sorry, we're... I'm not sure about that. Okay, thank you, Alexa. <laughs> I, I might need to turn her off, hold up. <laughs> okay, there you go. Much better. This time, however, we are using something called Flask Ask. So Flask Ask is a library that was built by John Wheeler. I think that's what his name is. Um, and it's a library built on Python uh, to allow us to allow fast prototyping slash fast development for any Alexa skill that you have in mind. Our goal for today is to create an Alexa skill that called a memory game. You know, it will ask you, you know, repeat these three numbers. And the goal is for you to, when you repeat these three numbers, it will check. Did you say it correctly or did you say it not? If you said it correctly, it will respond with a yes. If you said it wrong, which hopefully you won't, it will respond with a no. So step one, we are going to create a project in Cloud9. Cloud9 is an IDE, is a web IDE that will actually this time serve as a as a server. And I'll show you what, what it is. Step two is copy code from this tutorial right here that you see into the project. Step three, create the Alexa skill in the Alexa development console, set the intent schema, set the utterances and all the other good stuff, and then connect those two things together. The server and and the Alexa skill console with the, everything connected together and then we'll be good and running. And then in the end, we'll have, we'll test it, make sure it's all good. And if it, and if it's all good, then we'll just be happy. You know, we'll just be happy developers. Okay, everybody. So the project here, this is a web page. I will have the link to this web page in the description. If you want to check it out, I think you should. Um, once you get there, you will see that it's presented to you with a bunch of code. We don't need to worry about that. We want to set up Cloud9 first because that was our step one. So when you're on Cloud9 and you've signed up and you've logged in, uh, you're gonna have, going to go ahead and on the plus button. We are going to create a repository. Let's name this a repository Flask Ask. Flask Ask. Should we just name a memory game? Memory game. Mem memory. No, that's not how you spell memory. Memory game. Make it public, and we simply choose Python. We don't need anything fancy. And what it's creating is it's creating a virtual machine that will run as a server that we can actually link to. So Alexa will request data from the server, and then the server will actually respond, which is the great part about it, because we don't need to do any configuration whatsoever. It's all just done for us. Okay. So here we go. We are presented with this. We don't need to worry about anything here. Let's just create a new file. I'm going to create a new file memory dash game dash dot py. That's where our actual code will live. From there on, we are going to actually no, let's install install Flask Ask. So sudo pip install install Flask Ask. Okay, it's all good and dandy. Let's go back. Just simply copy this. Copy this all this code right here. Um, I'll worry about explaining what it all means. It's well, you can actually look at it. It's it's not very difficult to understand. Um, but I'll go over a little bit. So here we're creating a new game, and it's ask dot launch. So it's probably you know there's a uh, there's a function within the actual library that sets up the session and all that inside the next round it saves the numbers in the session so it's select it selects a, a couple of random numbers those three numbers that we're talking about it will save them in the session and then obviously when you repeat them it will check against those three numbers the answer is when you actually answer alexa so you know when alexa tells you uh what is what are the three numbers and when you say you know this is my three numbers one two three it will check against in this in this function functionality right here definition answer and then this is simply a run function like, like that's pretty much it. Like that's that's freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Um, from there on, we've done that. Let's go ahead and create a template. So this is a template that simply uh, Flask will use. It's called what? It's called template temp templates.yaml. New file. Template. 
template template dot yaml there you go all right and literally we run the scale at this point we can run the scale and our server is set up that literally what took us a minute or two <laughs> nothing much at all we can run it here so if we just simply select this this file and we just click run it will run and as you can see here it's running on HTTP that's localhost port 5000 now we do not want to do that because obviously as you can see it tells us uh, make sure your program is running on 8080 and the port 0.0.0, .0. so let's go ahead and change that so we can do like this we can do host equals 0.0.0.0 yeah one two three four and then we can set the and we can set the port to 8080 so 8080 right there I think it's called like this port equals 8080 there we go save that all right stop this rerun this great so it's running on host 0.0.0, .0, .0 port 8080 and because of that we'll actually be able to call this so it's running right now on the server and we can access it so let's open this open the app there we go method not allowed that means because we're trying to get some data and the only data the only type of data that's allowed there is a post function but it works and that's the most important thing now once you've done that we simply need to go to the development console which I have on here I've logged in already um, and let's go ahead and create a new skill so adding a skill we're gonna call it memory game memory game memory game we're gonna call it and then location name is the name that it will understand when you say open memory game it knows what game to open save that click next there we go intense schema so intense scheme we're gonna copy through here so the 10 schema is think about an intent schema as in the functions that you call that get called when you when you say certain things here you're saying here's my intent here's the function that will call when I when I say a certain thing and that certain thing will define inside the utterance let's go to here no not not here right here no not here right there right there intent schema paste that in our first intent is an is a yes intent and that's and that gets called when you when Alexa asks you um, can you repeat these three numbers for me and then you say yes and then it tells you which numbers it is to repeat and then you repeat those numbers and then finally the answer 10 is the actually answer you got first number second number third number utterances so the utterances like is like I was talking about are what you say in order to activate activate those intents so using these utterances Alexa understands what function to call based on which what you're saying so you know you can tell Alexa say yes intent and it will say yes to you you can tell Alexa my answer intent is this and it will try to map this first second and third into your answer so when you say one two three it will try to map this these into your answer uh, let's go ahead and do that we've configured our intent schema our utterances now we just have to configure the endpoint so this endpoint is what Alexa would will call uh, to get our answer so let's go ahead and copy go to memory game and all you have to do is just copy this so copy this URL let's not do that copy this URL go back to here paste it in here and then click next all right uh, select you know just select my development endpoint is subdomain of domain that has a wildcard certificate for it. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even say that. So let's just do start. Ask memory game. Internal server error. Huh? It was working before. Okay, one thing that we forgot to do as a big thing is we forgot to specify specify this right here we forgot to specify the template so okay that will work now okay all should be good let's go back to our console let's go back to next next all right start start okay I said start and the response 
that Alexa will respond with is, can you repeat the numbers six, two, four backwards? And then you will repeat four, two, six, and so on. Basically, you've created an Alexa skill from here. There's nothing else that you need to do. It works. Um, let's go ahead and click next. And then, yeah, this is not important at all. But we can, have, but we can test it in a in something called Echo. This this guy. Yeah. Login with Amazon. So this tool was created to mimic Alexa, uh, whereby you know you tell it, you tell it your normal your normal commands, and it will respond as as if you had the physical Alexa. And it actually is connected with your Amazon account, so it knows which skills you've created. So let's go ahead and start this. So I can say, start memory game. Okay, no, okay, I guess not. Um, start memory game. Welcome to memory game. There you go. I'm going to say three numbers for you to repeat backwards. Ready? Yes. Can you repeat the numbers three, three, six backwards? Three, three, six. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. Okay, so there's actually a small bug in this application. No, there is not. You know, it does everything it's supposed to do. It tells you the numbers, it tells you, it asks for you to repeat the numbers, you repeat the numbers and it gets those numbers. But there is one bug in, in one of those functions. So let's go ahead and figure Maybe you can you have figured it out already. Daniel you Nazari, there is no freaking bug. Uh, before before me. So if we'll take a look at it here, here is our Alright, anyways, this is embarrassing. But I completely missed the word backwards. It just did not register into my head that I was that Alexa was expecting the words backwards. For some reason I thought they were in order. <sighs> Anyways, if you're interested in seeing how I actually fix a, a non-existent bug, keep watching. If not, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I did that. That's hilarious. Here is our la la la. Here is our request. Alexa said, can you repeat the numbers 336 three, backwards in this, in this call? And then we said... We said six three three, so it, was, it actually mixed it up. It reversed the order, the order of the numbers. Now what we, what we can do is very simple. We can do something called. What we can do is we can actually not pay attention to the numbers. We cannot. We we don't have to pay attention to the order at all. We just want to make sure that you can remember the numbers that Alexa said. So let's go ahead and change that. Maybe you have a better way of doing it, but that's how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to create answers equals this first, second, third right here. First, second, third. Voila. Uh, right there, delete that, delete that. So creating a list of the answers of your answers. From there on, we are going to loop through the list. So for answer in answers, answers. Let's go ahead and remove each answer from the winning numbers. So winning numbers dot remove answer. And what's going to happen here is let's say you, the winning numbers are three, two, five, and you say five. Two, three. It's gonna go through each number, so five, two, three, and it will pop out that number from the winning numbers. And later on, we simply check, you know, is the list empty? Have we used up all the numbers that the winning numbers? If we have, that means you said it correct. If we didn't, that means you didn't say it correctly. So that's it. Let's go ahead and try it out. So winning numbers that remove that answer, and then here we simply check if winning numbers equals an empty array. Oops. Um, undefined variable answers. It, it's right there. If I spell it wrong. It's right there. 
Okay, good. Let's actually test that again. Start memory game. Welcome to memory game. I'm going to say three numbers for you to repeat backwards. Ready? Yes. Can you repeat the numbers four, nine, three backwards? Four, nine, three. It's gonna give me a win. It's gonna tell me a win. Good job. See? It works. It works great. Because what it did is it received those 493, but no matter which order it received it, um, it got it right. But the whole point is you create an Alexa scale within 5 10 minutes, about, and it's working. We understand what you have intents, you have utterances, you have a server that accepts a certain request from Alexa and then you have to respond to Alexa with a certain response. You can see here each response kind of if you take you could take a look at this and each response contains a key, it contains um, it contains a session ID, all those things that you would use on your server side application. Um, obviously as we go we will as we progress we will create much more complicated applications that do m many more things. Um, uh, there's actually a very interesting application in my mind that I'll be working on. I'm not sure if I'll be sharing that on here, but I'll be doing. So I'll do something very similar to it. Um, but yeah, so that's the application. Yeah. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys learned something. That's the most important thing. And you know, other than that, let's you know, keep coding, keep creating, and just stay happy, developers. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. If you want to, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm just saying, you know, we do cool, we cool, do cool stuff. And follow me on Instagram at the Happy Developer. I'm doing some interesting things there, and hopefully you will like it there too. Anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day.